Hello and welcome to Hot Rods Woodshop. So today I'm going to do a quick little instructional video trying to make it right to the point. I'm going to fit a newel post for the stairway right where this temporary post right here is. So I have to figure out the height in which to cut that. So this is how I figure it out. First thing I will do is take my bevel square right here and you'll lay it on here and you'll find the rake of the steps. And you can see it's just by laying it on the, the edge of these treads. So, and then will be a vertical on that. So that will be then my rake. So that represents the angle of my handrail. Okay. So give you a visual. This is what I'm working on, this stairway right here. So here's the post that I'm cutting for it. So I know that I want my handrail <clears throat> to be 35 inches tall to the top. So I know I want my handrail to hit the post at this point right here going up, going up. So what I do is I measure 35 inches from this point. I measure 35 inches down to this point right here and make a mark right there. Then I'll take my bevel square that represents my handrail angle and I will lay it down here, putting it on that 35 degree mark and I will scribe a mark on the bottom of it across here like this right here. Okay. Now, one of the th key things is this post, the edge of this post right here needs to line up with the edge of this skirt board right here. Like at the angle I'm standing, it needs to line up straight up. So I've drawn a line right here, then it goes up and that would represent the edge of the post. So I'm gonna have to notch the post and cut out from here over to here. And I'm also gonna have to cut the height of it out, I like as well, but we're gonna focus on this. So remember, I wanted my 35 inches of handrail height from the top up here to come down and hit the nose of this tread right here. Not back here, but the nose of it. So I know that it is about an inch and three quarters from this point out to the nose there. So I will come back over here to my post and measure my inch and three quarters from here over to there. And that will represent this line right here represents the nose of the tread. So what I do is find out where this point, this nose line right here intersects with my rail line and it intersects right there. So even though the 35 actually comes to here, but the time that rail was to imaginary project on down through the post, it would actually hit right there and that's where the front vertical edge of the tread is. So that determines the height. And then I will square back from that line. I will square off the post. And that will be the top cut, the horizontal cut for, I mean, for, for the post. So, and then remember, I needed to cut about an inch and a half out from here over to, to, um, over to here. So I will end up cutting this from here and cutting it down here. And then at a later date, I will determine where the bottom cut is. And I will do that simply by measuring from the height of the top of this tread, the height of the top of that moving down to the top of my floor right here. So uh, whatever that measurement is, and let's say it's eight inches, then I will measure eight inches from here, come down and I will cut this post off right here. And that will give me the, I mean the post height. You have to take into account the rail projecting down through here because if you just cut it 35 here and went straight across, it would be too short. It's got to be here. Anyway, that's what I'm working on. So thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. Leave a comment. I love comments. Anyway, thanks a lot. Hot Rods Woodshop, over and out.